What's up everybody? In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the free transformation tool. On the stage, I have a simple square shape that I'm going to use to show you how this tool works. Now, you can either go over here to the toolbar on the right and click on the dotted box icon, or you can use the shortcut and just press the Q key. When we click on the object, we see it's surrounded by eight little boxes. These boxes are the transformation points. So we can make the box shorter by pulling the top center box down, or we can diagonally adjust the shape from any of the corners. Okay, easy enough. But what if we wanted to rotate the box? We can do that with the free transformation tool as well. Go to any of the corners and hold the cursor just outside of the black box. You'll see the cursor change into a little circle icon. When the cursor looks like this, click and drag to change the rotation. If you notice, we can rotate the object 360 degrees smoothly, but it can be difficult to rotate it precisely, let's say if you only wanted to rotate it 90 degrees. It's not impossible, but it takes an effort to get it lined up perfectly. There's a shortcut that helps us rotate an object in precise increments. Just hold the shift key while rotating, and the object rotates in 45 degree increments. Another thing to note is that the object is rotating from the center. If you hold down the Alt key, the object will rotate from the opposite corner of the corner you've selected. You can hold both the Shift key and the Alt key, and the object will rotate in 45 degree increments from the opposite corner. When resizing, these shortcuts work as well. Normally when resizing, you are free to skew the object any way you like, but if you hold Shift, it constrains the object to its original shape. When resizing, the opposite corner will be anchored, but if you hold Alt, the object will resize from the center point. Again, holding both Shift and Alt combines these two, and you can resize from the center while constraining the original shape. There's one other thing we can do with a free transformation tool, and that is skew the object. In between each of these transformation points, if you place your cursor along these lines, you see the cursor change to these back and forth arrows. These allow you to skew the object. So let's click and drag, and now we have a diamond-like shape. Pressing Alt while performing this skews the object from the center. I don't believe Shift does anything in this case. Well, that pretty much covers everything about the free transformation tool. It's very easy to use as long as you understand what it can be used for. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.